Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. This is going to be kind of a very relaxed video in which we are going to explore most of the features of our new library called Vivum Beat. It's probably going to be a very long video but I'm going to put some uh, timestamps so you can jump to the desired topic. So Vivum Beat is part of our Vivum family and probably most of you are already familiar with Vivum and how it works. This time we put loops instead of uh, melodic or soundscape-ish uh, kind of sounds as sound sources. These drums and uh, percussion loops have been mapped in a particular way. We have basically 32 loops for each hexagon. We have the usual 100 hexagons. And when you look at one of them, you will see that uh, these 32 loops are grouped in four different subgroups. So you can think of it as, as having four drum performances, drum loops, divided in eight multi-track tracks. So you will have uh, like eight microphones or eight instruments per loop. If I play all the eight uh, loops together, it sounds something like that. If I can manage with my fingers, play all eight at the same time. But then if I go and play just a C note, I have the first kick drum, C sharp, another kick drum. Here it comes again. Yeah. And then a snare. So the snare will have a little bit of a bleed of kick. And then C sharp, you have a clap. E and F usually are extra loops they may be percussions or toms it can be sometimes the room mic and uh, could be other effects as well and then uh, hi-hat on f sharp and shaker on the g but as i said this thing can vary uh, especially if we have like analog drums or uh, experimental drums while the kick is always on c and c sharp and snare on d and uh, the clap can become a rim shot or a special effect as well on, on D sharp. So again, if I play all of them together, I have this. But I can also play the second loop, which is kind of a variation of the same idea, if I play on the following octave. So you see that on the E, you have these toms, and F, you have a different type of um, tambourine and stuff. And if I go to the following uh, octave, I have yet another loop variation, and then a uh, following octave, the fourth octave. So I could also play the C from the first octave and then the D from the second octave or third octave. See there is a little sound variation echo there that maybe mix with a G and then maybe having the uh, try to stretch my my fingers here. I can just play randomly. And this is basically how it works when you're using only one loop at once. But the strength of Vivum is the ability to play more uh, sounds at the same time. At the moment, I am in stack mode, which means that whatever sounds I will use among these hexagons, they will play at the same time. So let's choose uh, an experimental sound here. On its own, it plays like this. That's the C. That's the C sharp. This is a snare, quite a weird one. Then I can just play the whole thing together and see what the result is. You can play just uh, C, D, and G. So what happens when I play another loop? 
with this one. Uh, let's choose this, which is another experimental one. At the moment I'm only playing C, D and G, so the first kick, the snare and the, the second hi-hat. So you can notice that when I play the C, I have both kick drums at the same time. And I can again mix. So on, I can add even another one to make a much bigger sound. Maybe this type of sound here. So this is in stack mode. I have all the sounds at the same time. The interesting thing happens when we use the random mode. In this mode, Vivum will choose randomly one sound at a time among the chosen ones. I have three at the moment. I can even uh, put more of them, uh, maybe using the slider. Uh, so I will put the slider among there. So with these seven sounds, the engine will pick a different sound each time I press a key. So press a C, I will have a kick probably. If I press it again, sounds different. Then again another one. So if I play more keys together just to create a fuller loop, it'd be something like this. And basically I was playing C, G and then D and E together and the engine has just picked four different loops and put them together. If I press the keys again, it will be totally different combination. And again. And again. So, what if I like a combination when I'm playing in random mode, but then I cannot do it again because every time I press, I have a different combination. So, with Vivum Beat, we have introduced this new option, which is the option to save eight combinations, which have been generated randomly. So, now, I make sure that I am in the first of these eight live memories. So, I have eight here. And when I press my next combination of keys, let's say this, and try to remember the sound, Okay, when I go and press the first one of this violet, kind of purple violet uh, key switches, the first one corresponds to the first live memories. By pressing the first one here, I hear again the combination that I just randomly generated by pressing keys at random, really. Now, let's say that I like this one and I want to keep on playing this one. The minute I press again the keys, that combination will be overwritten. So I have to be very careful. So if I want to experiment a little bit more, I can press the second live memory and then press the keys again. Now that is saved on the second one. So when I press the second key switch, and when I press the first, let's say that I wanna change a little bit of this loop. I like it, but I wanna change a few things about it. I can open this panel, the live loops panel, 
and I will see all the sounds that belong to the combination that I just recalled here. So if I recall the first key switch, these are the four sounds that I was playing. And these are the second ones that I was playing. And in this panel, I have a several information. The first one is the trigger note on top here. This line will indicate the trigger note. So it tells me that my combination includes a C sharp, so the second kick drum sound. And uh, the sound corresponding to that is coming from the group called Ethnic AX. But I could change this and tell the engine, no, don't play the second kick drum. I want you to play the first kick drum. But I can also tell it to play a different group. So the first sound can be turned in any of the other 32 sounds available in one loop, but it can also recall different groups or hexagons, which I didn't even select. Another thing I can do, I can press this button over here and the groups parameter will be shown so I can change the volume, the tune and the pan for the selected sound. Bear in mind that this volume, tune and pan are relative to the actual hexagon or group. So if you had, for example, uh, two experiment BJ, experiment BJ here, uh, and I want to change the volume of this one, it will be exactly the same volume of that one. So you see the volume is the same exactly uh, because it's changing the volume of the actual group. We can close this panel. Now, when you create a new combination, maybe using the slider like this, um, these live loops are created automatically. So I can have And as I said, this one can be edited or I can totally create new ones as I did before. So I go to the first one, just press my keys. Let's say that I like that one. It will be recalled by pressing the first key switch. Now you can notice also these eight green key switches over here, which are similar. These are the way we call them factory uh, combinations. These ones cannot be edited and they are already created automatically when a new combination is created. So here it is. If I am revealing the slice sequence and I enable it, Let's go to sequence. I can make the loops play in uh, different ways. So the loops will follow this table over here. And I have different sequences. So I can see they're all different and can change. So the default is a linear sequence. So the loop will go from the first slice till the end in a linear way. So just uh, press. But if I choose another one, it will be unexpectedly different. I can also make them uh, play randomly and this can become quite crazy. <laughs> This, of course, also works when you are uh, pressing the live loop key switch. So the live loop key switch will follow the slices presets. We can activate the sequence and keep it on default and explore what these keys what these options are doing. Normally, when you are in random mode, every time you press the key, the sound will be randomized. And we already experienced that. Press again. 
different sound. But we can tell Vivum to randomize the sound at every cycle. So every time a loop finishes, then a new combination of sound will be chosen automatically by the engine. I can also make the engine change the sounds at every slice. So. Of course, that is not gonna work with the live loops. So when I press my violet or purple keys, which is they will not be affected by this option here. Another thing to remember is that when you work with the live loops, remember that every time you press the keys, the live loop is going to be changed. So if you decide to use the live loop, remember not to press any more keys unless you are on a different memory location. So I usually put the live memories on the eighth location because I never use it. And so I can do all my experiments. And when I decide to actually want to recall uh, my next combination, I just select the live memories in which I want to store my next combination. I hope that's clear. Okay, we have other uh, options that are available when we are in random mode with the sequence enabled, the randomization of the variations. Uh, this means that when this is set to cycle like now, the engine will choose a different variation among the four available at every cycle. So there are slight variations that you can hear every time the loop starts again. Or this can happen on the last of the slices or at every slice. Now this one is actually just choosing a different variation within the combination of sounds that you have selected by pressing the keys. So you will not hear variations in sounds, but you're gonna hear variations in the performance because these four groups of keys will trigger four different variations of the same idea of the loop. So the sounds will not change much. We go back and speak a little bit about the factory sounds combination, this green key switches over here. I said that these are not editable. The only thing we can actually change is how many of the loops are playing at the same time. We do it with this kit option over here. At the moment it's set to eight. It means that when I press my key switch, it's actually recalling eight loops at the same time. But what you're gonna do, you can change the amount of loops, like the four. See, it's emptier. Or I can add more. Okay, I think that's it for the random mode. We can explore now other stuck modes. We have the spread and the full stuck mode. The stack mode is the one that uh, we explored at the very beginning. Uh, all the sounds are played at the same time. So when you have many sounds, like now you have five at the same time, it's going to be a big sound. Sometimes it could be a little bit too much. So you can maybe deselect some sounds and select the most appropriate that they work better uh, among the cells. Now, if I select the spread mode within the stack mode, the engine will distribute 
the available sounds and will spread them across the available keys. So uh, I will have just one sound per key and it will be always the same sound when, whenever I press it. This is my kick here. That's uh, the sound the snare there. I have, will have different snare here on the other octave. So I can just create combinations or could be another one. And then look for a hi-hat that I like. And maybe... Or it could be a different one. This way I can make my own combination, making sure that every time I press a key, I know I'm gonna have that specific sound. And so I can create different combinations. find different sounds there. Awesome. Of course, it depends on what sounds are chosen here. So after a while, I will know what is included inside each of these hexagons. So maybe I can go and just select all the percussion sounds and see. By the way, you can use these filters. They are the processed, design, live, experimental, and ethnic. So let's see what happens when I play this. Another play mode is the curves mode. So I will have again all the sounds playing at the same time, but the engine will apply a LFO on the volume of each of the groups that I selected in a way that uh, these sounds will come in and out like waves of the sea, and you will have this overall sound changing over time. The rate at which the sound will change is set by this little knob over here so like this it's going to be very slow and like that very quick so let's just play a few keys at the same time bear in mind if i press the same keys the same sound will play at once but the volumes of those sounds will change so i'm just going to press this See, the sound is changing. I set the knob really, really slow. The sound gets sparser. If I set it faster, I can also play random sequences when I am in this mode, in the stack modes, spread, full, or curves. So I can create strange rhythms. Making sure that actually the sound is always the same. We have another mapping mode, which is the velocity one. So when this mode is enabled, the loops will be recalled according to how 
hard, we press the keys. So if I press really slow, let's do it here. I will have this loop if I press this a little bit harder. We have that sound. If I press very hard, I will have this loop. Okay, let's put this one disabled. This could be quite uh, useful when we want to have many sounds at the same time, but we don't want to have many patches of Vivum open at the same time. Bear in mind that Vivum doesn't respond to velocity, so it doesn't change volume or dynamics when you press harder or soft. Like in every Vivum, we have these dice over here, which will create a totally different combination. We'll also add effects. Now we are in random mode, Press at a time. So my personal suggestion would be to experiment with the with the random mode and create combinations that you can store in the live memories. That point you have eight loops which are things that you didn't have in mind, but they are inspiring because they were generated randomly. And uh, work in that mode. Now, if we want to be doing something really crazy, you can just work in a random mode by just pressing the keys like that and just recording it. Now, how can you record it then? I would just press it a few times and create my MIDI recording and do it a few times, record a few times my key presses, and then bounce that and see what the result is. I don't know, 10 different combinations that you recorded MIDI and bounce to audio. And then you can get those loops and work them as audio files in your DAW. Or you can use the combinations, as I said before, or you can use as well these factory sounds. When you are in stack mode, then the things are more predictable so you don't have to do that. But still, with the live uh, loops, we kind of created an option for you to be able to play again things that have been generated randomly, which is quite cool. And then the arpeggiator, which I don't know if I've ever used an arpeggiator on the drum loops, but... Um, putting the duration down, it's quite interesting actually. This so on is quite fun for some uh, interesting experimental drum loops, the step filter and step volume. Pitch bend. Which is interesting because, because we are actually changing the pitch, but the speed doesn't change. And 
and uh, a master filter. On the modulation wheel. The speed sync, so we can make the loops play twice as fast. Or half speed. or at the host speed, which is the time of your DO, or which is indicated in contact when you use the standalone. And we have these random effects. Uh, the random effects uh, button here will enable this convolution reverb, which will be applied randomly on one of the groups each time. Then I have the random pan over here. So you can feel that every time I press, one of the sounds will be changed in its position. So we also have this, which is also included in every other Vivo which is the pitch envelope and LFO. So let's just create something strange. This is the LFO, but I can also use the envelope. quite interesting with all these options which are common with all the other Vivums. So that's it for this video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Vivum Beats is available now in our store. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.